Are you struggling to get haptic feedback working in your app while using AV Foundation? You're not alone. Today, we're diving into this common issue and finding a solution together. I totally get it. It can be incredibly frustrating when you want to enhance your app with haptic feedback, but it just won't cooperate. Many developers face this challenge, and it's important to know you're not alone in this. Let's take a closer look at the specific question at hand. One user asked, why does haptic feedback stop working when I use AV Foundation in my app? They mentioned that haptic feedback works perfectly fine when AV Foundation code is commented out. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So what could be causing this conflict? When using AV Foundation, the capture session and preview layer might be interfering with the haptic feedback generator. We'll break down the steps to troubleshoot this issue. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a pro tip that can help you avoid similar issues in the future. To address the issue with haptic feedback in AV Foundation, the user should first ensure that the haptic feedback calls are made at the right time in the app's lifecycle. Next, the user should check if the haptic feedback generators are being prepared correctly. This is crucial for ensuring that the feedback is delivered smoothly. The user should also consider using a dispatch queue to manage the timing of haptic feedback calls. This can help avoid conflicts with the AV Foundation processes. Finally, the user should test the implementation on a physical device. Haptic feedback may not work as expected in the simulator. Fun fact, did you know that haptic feedback technology was first introduced in gaming controllers? Now it's a staple in mobile apps too. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution provided by another user involves using the AV audio session method. Since iOS 13, you can enable haptic feedback during video recording by calling set allow haptics and system sounds during recording on the AV audio session. After enabling this setting, you can continue to use haptic feedback generators like UI impact feedback generator without issues. That's all for that response. Let's see what someone else had to say. One alternative solution involves managing the audio input in your AV capture session. The user suggests that if you're using audio input, it may conflict with the haptic engine. To resolve this, you should remove the audio input from the capture session before triggering haptic feedback, and then add it back afterward. Here's the pro tip I promised. Always test your haptic feedback in a real device environment. Simulators can sometimes give misleading results. And there you have it. With these troubleshooting steps, you should be able to get your haptic feedback working alongside AV Foundation. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and don't forget to check out our bonus content.